What is up, guys, girl, and all? What is up, guys, girls, and all other configuration of being? My name is Mag Zach, and welcome back to Man Eater. So I lied a little bit. I did not go back through and do all of the side missions in this area. We will be doing that, but apparently we have to get all the way over here for the next upcoming mission. So we got a little swimming trip ahead of us. I think, if I understand this correctly, I could technically go this way and take a shortcut instead of going this way. I don't think it matters. But in the last episode, we became an elder shark after getting our face blown off by a bunch of hooligans. Um. Yeah, last episode was definitely eventful, to say the least, but I'm sure this episode will be as well. They usually start off pretty mellow, and the next thing you know, chaos ensues. So actually, I love when I get to do that. Like, it's so satisfying. Like, the thing charges after me, and then I just, like, open my mouth, and it goes right into my mouth, and I'm like, Arr! and munch it up into a little tiny uh, itsy bitsy pieces. Party time! I love parties! I've got to love them. That was great. You can take old P for that. That's bare to sand. Sure ain't. There's so much chaos. Bad shark down, bad shark. <laughs> Alright, here comes the one dude. After I killed the entire wave. Time is running out for our shark. Hunters are on the water bringing their explosives and poor impulse control with them. I think that's the first time I've ever killed all of the hunters. Corn fed colossus. There we go. Butcher Corn boy, fed colossus. Corn fed colossus. second. For whatever reason, I thought I was invincible when I was doing that, but I'm not. to the grotto for refuge and quiet reflection. So, lightning burst cloaks you with a lightning aura, electrocuting anything that comes near. 10% projectile damage resistance, 10% electrical damage resistance. You turn into lightning, inflicting 4 damage, putting 2 stun counters on anything within 6 meters. A target is... Okay, so the damage is the same. A target is... plus 5... Acceleration bonus. 
rough force bonus. There's more bonuses to this. So as I'm understanding still, what does that look like? Could that just... That still looks pretty badass, honestly. That looks really cool. But, then we're gonna keep these, mostly because one, it looks scarier, and two, because it's better, as of right now. Upgrade-wise, I could upgrade it, which, I mean, may make a slight difference. I mean, let's upgrade both and see what happens. Okay, so we can actually look at it and see. So that'll be 15% projectile damage, 15% electrical damage resistance. This is, once it's upgraded, 4 damage reduction, 10% damage, or 10% mass, 10% ram, 40% ram damage, 10% damage resistance, launch speed, max speed, and everything else increases. And then... I don't know. And then we're also larger with this as well. So All right. Hello, hello, rock stars. Welcome back. I did some grinding and discovered myself wanting what have I discovered? Well, I've discovered that there's a hidden gem within the ocean. That is the Shadow Shark. Now the Shadow Shark is quite a marvelous creature. And from what I understand, it is also quite, quite spectacular. So, I did some grinding, went back through and found landmarks. So the landmarks is how you find these things. And so, after doing that, I have discovered that the Shadow Shark is actually arguably the best one. So, damage-wise right now and defense, it's higher, but that's only because it's in purple. Once I upgrade this to purple, 24 bite, 45 health, I mean the damage, I don't know, I guess, wait, wait, wait. The damage and defense is only slightly higher at this point. So after I upgrade it to tier 4, it'll be pretty much even. And then so, from what I understand with the shadow body, it is faster and I mean the damage and defense rating is still once again only slightly this is tier 3 this is tier 3 but I mean all in all I have really really high hopes for this being a lot better we're faster we're not, our mass isn't as big, but that's okay. Um, our defense and our damage is also down with this. But our speed is so much higher. I still feel like this is better, but I'm not 100% certain. I just discovered that it even existed, and I didn't even know that it even existed until just now, so we're gonna upgrade it tier three. So now, compared to the last heat that we have, it's only slightly, just ever so slightly. The defense is the same, and the damage is only slightly. And that's still, and that's, yeah. But, but we get 45 health on bite, so no matter what, we are gaining health. We are basically a giant shark vampire, which is essentially what we will be by the time we get all these. Look at those teeth, that's terrifying. 
but yeah, think shark vampire. We bite into something. Every single time we bite into something, we get 45 health. Now that's going to add up. And then we don't have to worry about health as much, which honestly and truly is the biggest thing. Um, and plus we have a 24% bite damage increase as well. Uh, acceleration bonus, max speed, launch speed, swim speed is also all accelerated with the body. Um, shadow form slows the world around you. So basically we slow time just for the moment. And then we also release an aura of poison, which each time we lunge. So we lunge into the air or, air or whatever, or through the water and we get, we poison, get poison damage on whatever we are near. Which also is really amazing. Um, so at this point, it's a matter of you release a poison cloud that puts. So when we're trying to evade, does that, which is cool. So we're gonna do damage. Like even if we're trying to avoid, if we're in a fight and we're just dodging, we're gonna do damage, which is fantastic. Um, Increasing this increases our speed and our or just our swim speed in general. So I'm not going to worry about that so much, but I do really want to upgrade this because that will be super helpful. We have enough for one more upgrade, which we will do. And then we need to consume some things. But all in all, I'm proud that I found this because it, to me, it seems like it's a lot more effective of a killer. And it looks cooler. I mean, look at that. It looks so badass. Like, you can totally see that explosion scar now. But yeah, this is faster. We do more damage. We can stay in the air longer. And we gain health as we go. Jump height is much higher as well. I mean, honestly and truly, this is so much better. It's easier to get as well, or it's easier to get because all you have to do is locate all of our. It's not easier to get. But a head full of romantic notions of dynamiting sharks for a living. It's easier to get because all you have to do is look for the landmarks. Once you find all the landmarks, that is how you get the shadow. Increase our health every single time. See, and then we just poison the hunger, right? Health is not an issue anymore. I mean, it never was in the first place, but now it definitely is. We're just feeding off of. Jeez, what is this? Great work? White territory? I don't know what just happened, but we just had to kill, I think, four? Well, three great whites and. and a. Mark. Mark. Mackerel. The shark returns once again to her safe haven. And then we're gonna go over and do this apex predator. Then check in on Pete and see if he found Kyle or not. And if he did, did, then great, fantastic, good for him. If he didn't, unfortunate. And I apologize for on his behalf for that. And yeah. Oh. The Emperor of the Deep, the Great White. I hope we're ready for this, because, damn, that actually startled me a little bit. Ah! Great start. See, every single time we bite him, doesn't matter even if we don't kill him, we're still getting health. I think, right? From what I understand, I guess not with bomb fights, I'm not sure. We 
We haven't lost a ton of health, considering how much damage we've gotten. We have to remember that he's also getting poisoned. Great White is often referred to as the king of the ocean, which gives it a skewed understanding of the role of a monarch in modern society. Okay, checking in on Pete. What's in the barrels? Fish fool. Pete, whatever this is, can I ask you not to do it? I'm gonna get that shark. One way or another. It's, it's just that this is unnecessarily destructive. I mean, it's just one shark. There's a whole ecosystem. One shark? That killed my boy. Pete, look, I, I understand. Wanna keep tugging on this knot, you? And so the show gets cancelled. Or he goes to jail. Wouldn't he go to jail technically? Because... No, it was just the camera. Unless he assaulted the man. I mean, that's always a possibility. So can I upgrade to... I'm so close to evolving. To become a mega. Like, we're so close. So close that I might... Nah. I've already been recording for like an hour. We'll do that in the next episode for sure. Caviar Key Grotto was voted number one ocean hole. Visit the caviar. Okay, well, let's go to the grotto real quick. And uh, then we'll end this episode. Wow, we're, we're fast. Look at that. That's, that's what I call speed. Um, Yeah, we're gonna go to the grotto. And then, I don't know, we're three levels away from becoming the Mega, which is the highest level on the game. So we've almost beaten the game. I guess not technically beaten the game, but we've almost gotten to the Coastal end. Coastal overdevelopment creates a riskier, more complex local environment. Level 30 is the max so far. This mineral supplement wouldn't be necessary if this shark ate a more nutritious, well balanced diet. Just tell me how to live life. Open this way. Goes to where I need to go. The solitary hunter stumbles upon another source of nourishment. game does that. There we go. Thank you for finally jumping over there. Back when I was scared of the alligators. <laughs> scared not. Uh, Killer whales major. Killer whales still make me nervous. Even for sharks, it's important to create personal time for sober self-reflection. Whale, hello there, says the thing. Hmm. All right, can we upgrade any of this? No. Not enough protein in our diet, as it turns out. We have everything else, just not the protein. There's the bone tail. Yeah, but I still think this is better. After after seeing this in action, yeah, I'm loving it. Anyway, I hope you guys are all enjoying this episode. I really enjoyed, most of it was cut out um, because it was just kind of hunting down and trying to find the last little bits of the uh, um, landmarks. But now that I found all of them, we finally found the probably, maybe, seems like it is, the best uh, um, build. But 
I was wrong that every single bite, I think it's only when you're, let's see, hold on. Because it said that every single bite on bite is plus 45 health. But that didn't do it when I was doing the boss fight. So I think it's anything but the boss fights, which I guess makes sense. They want the boss fights to be challenging. If I could just gain health constantly from the boss, then there's no point in doing it. But we also didn't lose a ton of damage and health during that fight either because we kept on dodging it because of how fast we are and poisoning it when we dodged it. So all in all, I think this is probably the best build. Definitely the coolest one. I mean, look at those teeth. I hate to get built by something like that. Anyway, I digress. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. We only have three levels left, so we're most undoubtedly going to be the Megalodon in the next episode. Um, I may do some grinding on my own time and see if I can find those other signs and then do whatever other things that I might be missing in these other sections just to region poison. Careful, Scaly Pete has poisoned the whole region. Really? So I can't go back there? Well, I can. Mutagen X gains. So it's increased mutagens, but I'm not as fast. I don't know. I'm kind of confused by that. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Remember to smack the like button, like somebody that's your mother. Remember to stay awesome, and I'll see you all of your beautiful faces in the next video. It's one o'clock in the morning for me, so I am going to get some sleep. Hope you guys are all having a wonderful day or night, depending on when you are watching us. Thank you all so much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.